If you've been batch recording your videos or your vlogs like I suggested you do and like I've been doing, it can get a little bit confusing dealing with lots of video files. Sometimes you jump from one project to the other, maybe you're gonna go off and do a screen recording for one or a demonstration for the other and it starts getting a bit messy. Well, here's a little tip to help with that. You might have spotted it already. This has actually been really helpful and I only kind of realized it on this series of videos. Starting as a bit of fun, I told my son he could pick a character and I'd put a new one in each video. But actually the other day, my video files got a bit mixed up. I imported one into the wrong place. I imported one of them twice onto two different days. It wasn't until I saw the character in the back, which was Nemo on that video, that I realized, hold on, I've already edited the video with Nemo in it. So that's it, that's just my tip for this one. It's much easier to look at the video visually than it is to have to press play and listen to what it is that you're saying. Now obviously if you do what I'm doing, you're wearing the same clothes and you're in the same set, once you've got four, five, six, seven, eight videos in front of you, uh, the only way to really tell the difference between them is to watch them. So that's just my tip for today. If you're going to batch record your videos, especially if you're not going to wear a different shirt for each one, then try and include a visual aid into your videos because it will help you when it comes to editing, especially if you start getting your files mixed up. That's all for today. Thanks for watching my Hackle by Crack series. You can watch all the videos at nickellison.net forward slash sssvader. Check out my behind the scenes vlog over at nickellison.net forward slash nicksworld.